Воп! Everyone, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Um, I'm not actually moving stuff around, but today I'm bringing you a video. This is really difficult actually, because as you can see probably in the screens, um, these screens are on, I'm looking at you. I'm gonna bring you a video about the Epson BT200s. Uh, the BT300s that I saw at Enerdrone were probably my favorite piece of gear there. You can check that video out right here. Uh, let's talk about the Epson BT200 augmented reality glasses. All right, everyone, so I'm back. Um, these weird contraption things, I'm looking at myself on a monitor that I'm wearing. These are the Epson BT200 augmented reality glasses. These are a pair of glasses that are clear. They've got a transparent projector screen, one in each eye. They're binocular, so you can get 3D with them. Two little projectors in each side, projecting a 720p image onto here. Right now, I am seeing a massive image. Um, it is taking up a wall in front of me probably about 150 to 200 inches, and it looks like it's about 10 to 12 feet in front of me. So these are sort of comparable to something like, I won't say they're comparable, but they have a similar use to something like a fat shark where you're going to use an FPV goggle and have it in front of you. The way that the Epsons are different is that the screen that's in here is a transparent screen, so you can look at it or you can focus past it and see through. I'm gonna try and show you that by capturing these a little bit on the camera that's above so you can see through to the computer and some other things. These are meant for all kinds of applications, but in the application that most of us would probably use them, they're meant to be used with your drone. So this, the BT200s, weren't de developed with this specific thought in mind. So you've got a couple of different things. I'll go through how these are gonna differ from the BT300s, which, like I said, were my favorite piece of tech at Interdrone. So I contacted Epson after seeing those. They sent me these to try out because the BT300s aren't out yet. I am hopefully getting a pair of those to try out. But basically, I've got this huge, um, this <laughs> nest of cables. So I'll tell you what I have going on here. I've got a, a battery pack to this Movirio uh, interface with this 3D printed bracket with these two arms. And these two arms could connect two uh, DJI controller, and then I can take HDMI out from that controller and into here. So I wouldn't get um, all the app information, but I could get the view of what the camera is seeing. And then, because I can put these on, I can see through the screens, so at the same time that I'm seeing what's being filmed, I can maintain visual line of sight, so I can use these while I'm flying. Um, these are pretty amazing, actually. So these ones are a lot bigger and chunkier than the BT300s, so you put them on, you look like some I don't know, like you're doing, you know, like some sci-fi something or other, you know, feel like a cyborg. But the picture quality on these and on the BT300, it's even better. It's amazing. So I've got my computer up right now and I'm looking through these. And if I'm flying, I could get my feed down from here. And at the same time, I can keep my eyes on the drone visually. So like I'm seeing the screen right now, but I can see the studio lights in here. I can see my poster that's back there, my bike, my printer, the camera that I'm looking at right now, my laptop that's down here. I can see straight through the screen if I want to. And on the BT300s, this is an OLED projector and the blacks are transparent. You can see directly through. Amazing technology. These are a little bit heavy. They weigh on the nose some. If uh, you're out using them in bright weather, so I know that the 300s come with this as well. They have these little clip-on, let's try this out. They have these little clip-on shades like this. You put them on, now you've got sunglasses. I can still see my lights, still see the walls. Now the screen is even brighter. The picture on there is even better. One awesome thought on these. So we've got this um, clip that goes right here. Is, uh, I could give these to my daughter. Or, well, these would probably be, I could give these to my daughter, to my wife. We're sitting on, don't tell her. We're sitting on the couch. She wants to watch Real Housewives of Orange County. I can give her these. So knock yourself out. We can be sitting there and I can watch whatever I want to on TV. That's not the real use case, just a little side use case. But uh, these are amazing. So they're a 720p projection. Um, they run off of this battery pack and, and this interface. And uh, these are really the ones coming up to the BT300s. Let me see if I can show you what these look like. All right, so I've got something on my laptop playing. Let's bring this up. And you can see the screen, right? So as I move it, let me get this in there. 
you can see the projection screen right there on each side. And then you can see the keyboard behind it. So if I bring it up, like you can definitely see through it, see the translucence. Now the BT300s are even more translucent, but I've got a video going. It's actually, uh, let's see, uh, I'll give a shout out to anybody that can guess what this video is that's playing. I'm sure there's a bunch of people in here that watch this show, but it's playing now. I'll show you if I put these sunglasses on. Let's just clip these on. They clip on right in the front. You'll be able to see the video considerably better. So you can see it right there. Now, it doesn't look that clear because I'm trying to focus through the DSLR that's mounted above, but you can get an idea of how the screen is just projected right in the middle of your vision. And then you have that full screen right there. So let's take these off. All right. So I've been using these like crazy. I know I probably look like a little bit of a goon out there or people, I'll tell you whenever I put them on, I get, if I'm around somewhere kind of public, I get a ton of people asking me what they are, especially because they're hooked to the controller. There's a big Inspire flying, whatever. But what it's allowed me to do, I still have the DJI phone. Um, I mean, my phone hooked up through the lightning cable in the USB so that I can control the app. Then I've got this going through HDMI. That's a little bit cumbersome, but in the BT300s, um, the app is built into a little Android device that, the, um, that has the DJI Go app on it, and it's going to have a version that for Epson on it, and they can do some other overlays and stuff because they've got a big partnership going with DJI. So you can get, you'll have this little Android device, and you can actually just navigate around on it on your pocket, click on everything, do all your settings. You've got your screen right here. You don't need a phone. You don't need a tablet. You've just got those right there. They're on your face amazing 720p picture up to like 300 inches depending on how far out you're looking and you just get a really great experience. So with this one, I've got the HDMI out to here, then the lightning cable going to my phone, but I've been using these like crazy and I will tell you that I tried some others. So I tried one from another company that's a big company where they have a monocular type. It's just a little screen that floats right here. I got eye strain almost immediately. I couldn't focus on that while at the same time maintaining line of sight to the drone because I was too busy using this one eye to try and see the screen here and it was you know kind of floating here and so I'm so focused here and I'm not seeing where the drone is it really wasn't that effective with these I have the screen right here and I can look through the screen especially on the BT300s or I can look just directly above the screen and look right out of the clear glasses and see the drone at the same time so I can just kind of reference down good there's my shot look up there it is and you know I can make my adjustments on the app amazing amazing technology the BT300s coming out are a lot lighter, a lot thinner, slightly more fashionable, but I don't know. You're not going to get away when you have two projectors in here with this looking like a regular set of glasses, at least not now. But what they have is they have this angled kind of 45 degree curved screen on each one. Let's see if you can see that on the inside here. Yeah, so you can see this um, line kind of right here. And that's where the screen is. And then they just project down into it. So you know, you've got the screen right there. You can see straight through the laptop. Now, it doesn't look that bright in here, but it is plenty bright when you've got it on. There we go. There's a good example of the picture. So I love these. I, I don't use them on every flight, but I have traveled with them. I have used them a lot. And I have actually used them hooked up to um, another device and just fed HDMI video into it when I wanted a big screen. Pretty cool. Um, so fun device. These are, I believe that the BT300s were $800 on a pre-order. Seems expensive, but when you look at your phone or separate tablet that you're gonna buy, not too bad. And they come with an Android device and Epson has a very tight partnership with DJI. They're gonna be developing a lot of specific apps for these that they'll be able to use. So maybe they're overlaying, um, they could do stuff like overlaying weather or surface information. Um, giving you heights of maybe towers that are around depending on where you're looking where you're you know where you're looking at or give you more information on restricted zones that you might be flying in or maybe they could put up no tams so that just the no tams are floating there and you can see them i'm super excited about this because this is one of the first generations well this is really like their second or third the bt300 being the follow-on there's gonna be so much technology here 
I think the key to having a pair of these that works really well is this binocular view. So you've got it in each eye because that's natural. When you've got it in one eye, it's not so natural. And then I'm um, having them be transparent. Having them be transparent differs these from something like a fat shark because now you're able to see through that screen, maintain your visual line of sight and uh, just an awesome device. So I want to put these out here really quick. I've had these for a while. I'm going to be sending them back soon because they were just a kind of review test, you know, demo unit but thoroughly impressed. Like you've got to try a pair of these. If you get anywhere that you can try a pair of BT300s on, you should because the picture on those and on these, but on those in particular is incredible and what you can do with it is fantastic. So quick video today on the Epson BT200s. Look out for more because as I get the 300s in, I'm gonna do some thorough tests. I'm gonna figure out a way to put together some device maybe that I could put my camera on so that you can see the actual screen with a macro lens or something and see the quality of it. This was just kind of a quick test here. I was trying to figure out how to do this to give you a best idea of the screen. This was about the best that I could do, but a little bit of uh, some video here. You'll have to guess what it is. Let me know below if you know what it is. Maybe I'll send somebody something for the first person that guesses. And uh, that's it, guys. BT200s from Epson, Moverio.com. Look down below. I'll also be cutting in. You probably already saw it. I cut in some video about the 200s and the 300s. Really, really interesting tech. So tell me what you think if you've tried these or if you haven't tried these. And uh, anything else that you want to know. Look over here, we're almost at 7,500 subscribers, which means that I'm giving away that CamSafe anti-theft backpack at 7,500, coming up on that close. Lots of people have entered, subscribe, go look at this video right here so that you can find out about that giveaway. Check out the other Epson BT300 video, you'll see that one, it's actually one of the most widely viewed videos from Innerdrone. A lot of comments on it, really interesting tech. Um, take a look, there are some other headsets out there that have the kind of see-through or the floating type vision. I will tell you, I've tried them all, and hands down, and Epson's here are the best. And just so you know, I'm not being paid by Epson. Um, you know, if they're if these were terrible, I'd tell you that they were terrible. They're a little clunky. Um, they're a little bit heavy on the nose. If you wear glasses, um, right now, the ability to wear glasses with these, the BT200s, isn't there. The 300s have this uh, bridge extender, so it'll sit out further so that you can wear your glasses with them. But um, So yeah, a little bit big, a little chunky, but the quality on them is amazing. So go take a look. Um, let me know what you think below, and then uh, anything else that you want to know, ask me a question, and I will let you know. So thanks, Epson, for sending these out as a demo unit. Uh, I'm really thoroughly impressed. I will uh, talk to you guys later. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos.